exactly. Mm -hmm. I work hard every day. I wake up every day and I go to work. I wake up every night and I go to work. I try not to sleep. I try to work more. Mm -hmm. It's nothing like hard work. Pussy, not even pussy. Not even for, actually, not even money. Because a lot of motherfuckers get the money without hard work and they don't know what to do. And people that get money without hard work sometimes don't even want the money. But hard work is everything. How do I know? Because I work hard. Sex? I, nah, I don't have sex. I don't have time for that shit. I work too much. It's just music, 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 and money for me, literally. I'm selling at least, I know I'm selling at least one mil. At least. Okay. You gotta think like that. Because everything after one is gonna be like, oh shit! 122, nigga! <laughs> Tell, tell my opponent drop and walk, drop the mic and leave. I don't stop till you know when they be like, oh, okay, oh, now it's your turn. Uh, uh, uh. I'm still going. I stepped into the music scene, uh, actually, May 13th, Friday, it was a Friday, Friday the 13th, May 13th, 1993. 93, man. Yeah, that's when I met Baby and Slim. You know, they gave me a card. And I ain't never stopped calling the number on that motherfucker. There was two numbers on there. It was 522-3660 and 596-5109. The 3660 was the office number. The 5109 was baby's beeper number. Niggas, we knew niggas would be in that office from at least 8, 9 that morning to about 8, 9 that night. And after that, you got to beep them. That's how I went for Baby and Slim. I was just obliged for them dudes to even talk to me. Mm -hmm. They gave me a number, I kept calling, they kept answering, and here we are. How old were you? I was approximately 12 years of age. Oh my God. No, I'm lying, I was 11, but I told them I was 12, because I didn't want them to think I was too young. So I told them 12. Um, I kept beeping them niggas. I kept calling the office until they said, come up to the office. And so I came up to the office and mind you the office was number like three little rooms. So there was nothing to do in the office but sit around the office and write raps all damn day. So that's where bang, the story starts. And that's where you got Lil Wayne. I sat in that office every day and wrote raps till they said, Now here's the microphone and here's the beat. I was twelve years of age at that time. It took a year for them to recall me. I didn't get on no tracks when I was 11. I ain't gonna front. But I did when I was 12. So it's like, if you're an artist, then do it. Everything's gonna come in your way. Every obstacle, you got, if that's what you wanna do, then you gotta do it. And then at the end of it, you're gonna be like, I went through all that and made it here. Then. Man, every time people do music or anything they do now, they do it like someone who has done it before, or they do it like what they think the people want. I don't do that. I do what I do what I know is is nice to me. I do what I think is cool, and if you don't think it's cool, then I think you're not cool. So if you approach it with that attitude, then I don't think you can ever lose. I'm not an example for people on how to live their lives. I'm never in my life would I ever set out to be an example for people on how to live their lives. If you need an example for how to live and you just shouldn't have been born straight up and I am a great role model because I'm only a role model for two and that's all so why don't you worry about yours and let them worry about theirs I got mine work man work fuck you all be on the streets talking about what you do for and you ain't doing it fuck you all be in the club looking like you do something for and you don't really do it. Fuck you won't stand next to a nigga like me that really do it, and you don't do it. The fuck from by me, man? Feel me? I got a beautiful bitch next to me. Um, entertainers in the game, they don't know about the grind. You know what I mean? Like, we would put, like, Jackson 5. You know what I mean? Like, we would put, a, there was no school. Like, nothing else meant nothing. We don't approach things like we're good. We just approach things like we're going to work, and we're going to work hard. And hard work pays off. If you work that hard, they're gonna get good, and good turns to great. A nigga all over my fucking shoulder, talking about nigga. Man, 
Get the fuck off me, man. Write a rap, man. What's better said? Go eat us. Go make a beat or something. You niggas look at home need to eat you something. I'm so, so into go get it mode, you know? So whatever falls off the train, the train keeps going. I take every single thing I do, every word, every letter, every sentence, every phrase, every quote, every chorus, every verse, every bridge, every intro, every outro. Personal. Intelligence, all that comes from repetition. Awareness, preparation, all that comes from repetition. Money, bitches, all that comes from repetition. Rotation, record spins, repetition. How did you do it? Uh, hard work. It's never stop trying. And hopefully you find something they like and you try to stick with it until they don't like it no more you find something else. Has America recognized the entrepreneurial acumen of this record label? Not yet. Because if we say they have, then what else have what else we have to do? So, not yet. Tragedy changed everybody and depend on what it makes you. Tragedy can make you crazy. Tragedy made me a man. You know what I'm saying? I lost my father at 14. I became my mother's husband. Meaning I started, I had I became the, the, the car note payer, the house mortgage payer, the everything. I'm a soldier. It's great. That's why I know that. So if I survive that and then I'm surviving everything that's going on around me and that went on around me, I was put here for a reason. So now I'm gonna make these platinum plaques and I'm gonna teach the game. If you haven't watched the movie Scarface, you need to. Because on Scarface, you will see when Tony Montana moved up, he went and got the long stretch, stretch all around the living room section of white sofa. I like Tony Montana.